What is going on, everyone? Welcome into Big Time Football Talk. So I wanted to get to this. The big winner of this draft was the uh, was the Baltimore Ravens. No question, outstanding draft the Ravens had. Um, <clears throat> starting the number 14 pick, it's Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton. What is there not to like about this guy? Maybe the best safety in the draft. Some people had him as the best player in the draft. You know, just a tremendous football player. Uh, 6'4", ran a slower time than people expected, but he does not play slow on tape. He plays very fast, shows a lot of range, tremendous play he made in the Florida State game. Um, you know, and this is a big move because you get Marcus Williams at free agency and then you bring in Kyle Hamilton, um, you know, to go along with him, you lose to Sean Elliott, but uh, you know, Marcus Williams, you got Kyle Hamilton. That's a it's a nice combo of safeties you got um, on the roster. And uh, Hamilton, he's gonna be he's gonna be a very good player for the Baltimore Ravens. This is a uh, you know, it seems like a perfect fit. It seems like you know Kyle Hamilton, uh, you know, should be a Raven, and uh, you know he'll do a lot of good things, make some big plays, and uh, you know this add to what is already a tremendous tremendous roster. Uh, next pick, round one at pick 25, they took Tyler Linderbaum, the center. Linderbaum may be the best interior lineman in this draft. The dude is just a beast, um, you know, run blocking, uh, pass blocking, whatever you want him to do, j- just mauls people. Um, just a well, well built, strong kid, you know, tremendous play strength, just drives people off the football. Um, ability to, you know, block in the second level. He's athletic, a very good athlete. Like this pick, getting Tyler Lindebaugh in the center out of the University of Iowa. They also got David Ojabo, who um, sadly tore his Achilles at Michigan Pro Day, but uh, a guy that really rose up draft boards. Tremendous year at the University of Michigan this year, playing opposite of uh, Aiden Hutchinson. But, uh, you know, like Ojabo a lot. He's a guy that when he get gets healthy, he's going to be another guy to add to, you know, what's already a tremendous Ravens pass rush. You know, last year you took Odafo away. You combined him um, with uh, with Ojabo, and you, you, you like the young uh, talent at the edge rusher position for the Baltimore Ravens. Round three, pick 76, they took Travis Jones, defensive tackle for UConn. I love Travis Jones. This guy just eats up so much space. He's a tremendous athlete, um, you know, 4'9 speed at 325 pounds, never gets driven back, holds anchor in the run game, um, you know, ability to eat up double teams. Um, you know, what's not, or not to like about Travis Jones? You know, Wyatt, Jordan Davis got all the attention at the D tackle position, uh, would deserve, deservedly so, but I love what uh, what Travis Jones brings to the table, and uh, he's going to be a tremendous football player as well for the Ravens. So, Round three, pick 70, 76, is Travis Jones, defensive tackle from UConn. Round four, pick 10, was Daniel Falale from Minnesota. Falale is just a massive human being. I touched on as one of the players I love in this draft. Uh, you know, holds anchor really well, and is a guy that's still new to football. Uh, great year at the right tackle position for Minnesota, but I think he can play left or right tackle, whatever you want follow to do. But uh, a guy that's just yeah, still learning football, and it, you know you got to believe the sky's the limit for a guy that's you know six eight three you know three eighty three ninety whatever they had him listed at. Um, like that pick a lot. Jalen Armour Davis, round four pick. Um, what is one hundred and eleven? Yeah, Armour Davis. Just a guy that all the tools you want, you know, size, speed, ran 4-3. You know, people don't really get open on him. Um, just, you know, injuries and just, you know, not a lot of experience playing in Alabama. So, you know, comes to the Ravens, uh, a team that, you know, has already got some athletic corners. You saw Anthony Averett step up a bit. You got Marlon Humphrey, who's one of the best in the business. And, uh, so, you know, so he's going to be learning from some some good good ones, athletes, you know, and uh, two other Bama guys too. So, uh I like Armour Davis a lot. I think uh, he'll really help out. You know what's already a very solid, uh, you know, Raven secondary. Charlie Kohler, tight end out of Iowa State, was uh, round four, pick one twenty eight. Jordan Stout, uh, the punter from Penn State, round four, pick one thirty. Um, another guy I like. They took Isaiah Likely at round four, pick one thirty nine. Um, like what? Uh, what Likely brings to the table? You know. One of the better pass catching tight ends in this draft, Demario Williams, a uh, cornerback. Round four, pick one forty one, and then Tyler, Tyler Batty Beatty from uh, running back out of Missouri at round six, pick one eighty six. So, yep, that's at uh, 
that is the Ravens draft. It was a tremendous draft. I give it an A plus grade. Most people gave it an A plus grade. I just wanted to compliment. Uh, what a tremendous job, Eric DaCosta, the GM in this Ravens staff, uh, bringing more talent to this football team. Thanks so much for tuning in to uh, this clip, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for more clips and episodes from the show. Till next time, peace.